On Saturday, Hibs won the Scottish Cup for the first time since 1902, a wait of 114 years and 10 failed attempts, which is surely long, one of the longest sporting droughts in history. There was a lot of celebrations afterwards, with Charlotte getting decked out in an open-top bus, which you have to allow them because buses hadn't been invented in 1902. But let's look at six more of the longest sporting title droughts. Just a note here, I'm only caring about either droughts between two title victories, or between a title victory and it's surprising that they haven't won it again since. So no St Johnston's 130 year wait for the Scottish Cup because that was their first ever major title and no having a go at the Royal Engineers Corps for not having won the FA Cup since 1975 because barring a military coup it's pretty unlikely they're ever going to win it again. Passing the torch. Sticking with the Scottish Cup and the passing of the not won it in absolutely ages torch, Hibs have now passed that to Dundee. Dundee last won the Cup in 1910, a wait of 106 years. The only reason they don't get laughed at quite as much is because Hibs' drought was just that eight years longer. Dundee have featured in four finals since then, most recently in 2003, but you wouldn't be surprised if their drought was a little bit longer than Hibs was. Major League Drought Two droughts from the World Series now, baseball's wrongly named top title in North America. Firstly, the Boston Red Sox, who won their first five World Series between 1903 and 1918, before selling arguably the greatest player in baseball history, Babe Ruth, to their bitter rivals, the New York Yankees. The New York Yankees, for British people, is that one team where at least one of your friends had their cap in the early 2000s. Boston wouldn't win another World Series in 2004, a wait of 86 years. However, longer and more painful than that is the drought of the Chicago Cubs, last winning the World Series in 1908, 107 years ago. They haven't even been to a World Series since 1945, and even if they'd won that one, they would have the longest drought of any current baseball team. But hey, this could be their year. The saddest story ever told. Now for football fans, we're going to be bawling our eyes at this one, but can you believe there was one point where Real Madrid went 32 years without winning the European Cup? I know it's not very long, but given the dominance before and to the lesser extent after that drought, it still counts as a pretty big drought. Real Madrid won the first five European Cups from 1956 to 1960, and then won another one in 1966, also reaching two of the five finals in between. But they then had to wait until 1998 to lift the trophy again, and also did so in 2000 and 2002. They only actually reached the final once in between back in 1981, and also had to suffer the indignity of getting beat by Aberdeen in the 1983 Cup Winners' Cup final. Of course, back in 2014, they managed to obtain La Decima, and on Saturday they'll be looking to clinch their 11th title in Europe's top club competition. The Cleveland Sports Curse. What's worse than your favourite football team not having won anything in ages? Well how about when your favourite football, baseball and basketball team all haven't won anything in ages? That's the plight currently going on in Cleveland, Ohio. The last title won for the city was by the Cleveland Browns, one of the most boring names in sport, when they clinched the 1964 NFL Championship. That was two years before the invention of the Super Bowl. The city's baseball side, the Cleveland Indians, one of the more controversial names in American sport, haven't won a World Series since 1948, and the NBA side, the Cleveland Cavaliers, have never won a title since their inception into the NBA in 1970. Throw in the two-year championshipless existence of NHL's Cleveland Barons, and that comes to a grand total of 160 seasons without a title. The Curse of Bea Gutmann. The Fika are the most successful team in Portuguese football history. They've won 75 domestic titles and were the first per Portuguese club to win a European title, winning the European Cup in 1961 and retaining it in 1962. However, since 1962, they're yet to win another European title, and it's all thanks to former manager Bea Gutmann. Gutmann didn't spend very long at Benfica, only three years in total, but between arriving in 1959 and leaving in 1962, he won two Portuguese league titles, the Portuguese Cup, two European Cups, and also signed perhaps Portugal and Benfica's greatest ever player, Eusebio. After achieving all that, he went to the Benfica board to ask for a well-deserved pay rise, but they flat out refused him. He then left the club saying, as the story goes, not in a hundred years will Benfica be European champions. 28 years later, Eusebio visited Gutmann's grave in Vienna, begging for forgiveness for his club. The next day, Benfica lost 1-0 to AC Milan in the European Cup final, and a total of 54 years later, the curse of Gutmann is still going strong. So those are some of the longest title droughts in sports. Uh, a lot of them are American or football because those were the easiest to find. But if you know any great ones from any sport, I'd love to hear them in the comments. Uh, thumbs up this video and subscribe for more stuff like this.